Welcome to MCC Pilot Log. In this video tutorial, we will explain how to synchronize your desktop application with your mobile apps. We will first show you how to add your mobile phone or tablet to the device list. We will then explain how to transfer your database. Finally, we will show you some samples of how to use your mobile phone in real life. You can install and run MCC Pilot Log from your Windows computer, your MacBook, and mobile applications on the iOS, Android, Kindle, BlackBerry, and Windows phones. All these devices are linked through MCC Cloud. For that, you must first add your device to the cloud. To add your device to the device list, go to the Settings page where you'll find a list with all devices that are linked to MCC Cloud. To add your mobile phone or tablet, pick up the device from the list. For instance, iPad. Then choose what kind of data you wish to synchronize with this device. In this case, I selected Planned Flights. Click Add. The new device is now showing in the list, and it has received a unique Sync ID. In this case, it shows 17 Echo. The ID will range between 10 and 99. For version 3.6, the range is from 1 to 9. You will now enter this Sync ID in the mobile application. On the mobile app, go to the Settings page and enter the Sync ID here at the bottom. In this case, the complete ID is 17 Echo. When you download and install the mobile application on your tablet or phone, the database on this device is empty, and you have to transfer your database from the desktop to your mobile app. This is handled by MCC Cloud. After adding both devices to the MCC Cloud device list, you can now transfer the database. To transfer the data from your computer to the mobile application, go to the Sync page. And since this is the first time, you'll need to reset the mobile database by selecting these three checkboxes located next to that vertical line. Next, press Sync Now. The records have now been uploaded from the desktop to MCC Cloud, and from there, the data continues to the mobile device. On the mobile device, go to the Sync page and press the Sync key. The reset function on the desktop should only be used when you add a new device. After that, any change you make on the desktop or on the mobile will synchronize automatically. After transferring your database from the desktop to the mobile device, you can now start using the mobile application. In the mobile application, flights in the future are called planned flights and are split from achieved flights. The flight page will show planned flights only, and the logbook page will show achieved flights. To decide which list is used, go to the settings page on the PC and verify your selections. Here, in this case, you have decided to send planned flights from the desktop to the mobile application, while achieved flights are not being synchronized. If you want to change your settings, just double-click and add the selection. Since you have modified the settings, you also have to reset your mobile database. In this case, you will transfer the achieved flights for the past period and hit the Sync key. As mentioned before, whatever change you make on the PC will automatically be synchronized to your mobile application or vice versa. There are three ways to use your mobile application together with your computer program on the PC. The first method would be to simply log a new flight on your mobile app. This flight will then synchronize through MCC Cloud to the main database on your PC. 
You can also use your mobile application in combination with your airline website. Your first step would be to download your planned roster from the Crew Web Portal, and then this planned roster is uploaded from the desktop to your mobile app. On board the aircraft, you complete the record. You can add whatever you want, such as aircraft registration, actual block hours, or pilot flying. When the record is complete, it will be sent back to MCC Cloud and then on to your main database. Depending on the rostering system that is used by your airline company, the roster may also show actual block hours as soon as the flight is completed. Nevertheless, you can still use your mobile application to log details from the flight, such as aircraft registration, pilot flying, type of approach, or any remarks you want to add. In this case, you would download your planned roster from the airline company, which is sent to your mobile phone. You add anything you want, send it back to the PC, and finally, a few days later, you will connect again to the web portal and download the actual block hours. There is a lot more that you can do with your mobile applications. You can find all details in the user guide. Thank you for watching.